The big question tonight, though, was this latest ballot drop enough for Trump here in Arizona. Our Brianna Whitney, she's been out there crunching the numbers. She is live for us tonight at the election center. She's here to break it all down for us, Brianna. Yeah, Brandon, yet yeah, a lot of numbers. Obviously, you can see the workers still working behind me to count these ballots and these votes. But we want to tell you what is left here in Maricopa County. So 72,000 ballots, early ballots left to count. There's also 15,000 provisional ballots left to process and then 5,000 more that need to have additional verification. That could be a signature or an ID issue. That's for Maricopa County. But we've also been tracking things statewide, too. And like you guys said, Biden is leading Trump in Arizona by just under 30,000 votes. So I want to take you guys to my board over here. Uh, this basically is going to show what Trump needed and what percentage he would need to get up to where Biden is to even have a shot. So he really needed in this last dump 60% of the votes and of those results. Well, when Maricopa dropped just about an hour ago, statewide, he only got 55.85% of the results. And even lower than that, in Maricopa County got 54% of the results. So you can see it's not even close to that 60% number, which means there isn't a likely road for Trump to catch Biden here in Arizona. Is it possible? Yes. Is it likely? No. So where do we stand? What comes next in terms of counting the ballots here in Arizona? Well, here at Maricopa County, they're going to have another drop coming tomorrow at 9 a.m. Those 72,000 early ballots I was talking about, those may be in that drop. This could be the last one tomorrow morning, but county officials say they're going to play it by ear. If there's more to count, then they'll have another drop tomorrow evening. As for those provisional uh, ballots and the additional verification ones, they have until Tuesday around 5 p.m. To work that out with people. If they don't, then those votes won't count. So they're busy trying to get in contact with those voters who they need to talk to about those to make sure their votes count. But again, what a huge night for the Maricopa County results drop. That was kind of telling whether Trump could catch up to Biden or not. And as it's looking with the percentages and the votes that are in, it's just not looking likely for Trump to be able to pull it off here in Arizona. But again, we will stay here monitoring the situation. You guys, I think that is the most math I've had to do in the last 15 years of my life. That is a lot of numbers, but we are here to break them all down for you as this process continues. So guys, I'll send it back to you.